Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you five variations of homemade ginger shots using three different kitchen tools. Let's start with the most basic, ginger lemon shots. All you need to make homemade ginger shots is a box grater or a microplane. Wash the ginger first and then use the grater's smallest holes to grate the ginger. There is no need to peel the ginger as long as your box grater isn't too blunt because the ginger juice will be strained. Pour the juice into a glass over a fine mesh strainer and then add the ginger pulp into the strainer. Using the back of a spoon, press on the pulp to get as much ginger juice out as possible. Next is the lemon. If you have a citrus juicer, you can use that to squeeze the lemon and get the juice out. If you don't have one, just use your hand. One thing I always do beforehand is roll the lemon against a hard surface. This helps break the membranes in the flesh of the lemon, causing the lemon to spill out more juice. Stir the ginger lemon juice right before serving and that's it for the first ginger shot. Another popular variation of ginger shots includes a sweetener, most frequently honey. Here I have the ginger lemon shot we made earlier and now I am adding maple syrup and I added way too much. The recipe on my blog does not call for this much maple syrup. Stir and that's it for the second ginger shot. The next kitchen tool you can use to make ginger shots is a blender. I'm using my Vitamix. The only downside of using a blender is that you typically need to add a little bit of liquid and therefore dilute the ginger shot. One of the popular brands that sells ginger shots in the store uses coconut water, so that's what I'm using right here. Add all the ingredients into the blender and blend until the ginger is completely broken down. Transfer the content of the blender into a nut milk bag and strain it into a container, squeezing the pulp to get as much of the liquid out as possible. For the last two ginger lemon shots, I will be using a juicer. Let's start with ginger lemon apple shots. Depending on your juicer, you might need to cut the produce into small pieces so they fit into the mouth of the juicer. Feed the ginger pieces into the juicer first, then add the lemon pieces and finally the apple. Produce that contains a lot of water will wash out the juicer and help extract more ginger juice.
finally, ginger lemon orange shots. This ginger shot is very similar to the ginger lemon apple shot, but instead of an apple, I am using an orange. As you can see, you can add any fruit you like into your ginger shots. And that's it! Five variations of homemade ginger shots. So Tanner and I both picked our favorite ginger shots. I have the one with coconut water and Tanner has the one with apple juice. Now I'm not actually sure that the one with coconut water is my favorite in terms of flavor, but it makes me feel the best because there's no added sugar from the fruit juice or from the maple syrup. Now the ginger shot with maple syrup is the one I would make for Tanner when he's sick because it's his favorite. But for some reason, he picked the apple ginger shot for this taste test. I will take the added sugar. That is my preference. I like the apple because it seems to be the right kind of sweet for me. The maple syrup is fine, but I prefer the apple. I think it complements the ginger a little bit better. So I don't know. That's where I'm coming from when I choose the apple. But it does make it easier to drink, definitely with the apple juice or the maple syrup. That's, yeah, without it, it's, it's brutal. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.